this guy from Ink Master called Daniel Silva, who was uh, sentenced to 364 days in jail, as you see here, for a fatal crash. I think that led to the death of his friend. I think they were both drunk. They both got into the car. They crashed. His friend died. He is, he is, he's alive. And he got sentenced to prison. So it says here, Ink Master tattoo artist Daniel Silva was arrested and booked on suspicion of murder in a deadly crash that killed YouTube personality Corey Labari. Uh, that's his name, right? Corey Labari, a YouTube personality. RIP to him. Police officer says on Silva was driving a 2020 McLaren at high speed on Sunday night when he lost control, ran off the road and hit a tree. Always trees, isn't it? Fucking hell. Hollywood area, Los Angeles police say Silver tried to flee the scene. Another fleer, but was stopped by witnesses who came to help. He fled the scene when his friend was in a car dead. Okay, that makes it even worse. The update here says, Tattoo Art has been sentenced on Thursday to spend less than a year, it seems like, in jail and 250 hours of community service. Silver was initially was charged with murder in connection with a crash, pleaded non-contest in July to felony count of gross ve 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 vehicular, sorry, manslaughter. Los Angeles Supre Supreia, blah, 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 sorry, Superior Court Judge Joseph Brandolino suspended a four-year prison state term that Silver could face in violation of probation according to LA County District. Again, um, must be white. And of course, the reason why I bring this up is this. Because the one and other, Brendan Shaw defended this guy because he was getting a tattoo from him. Do you remember? So Brendan's opinion on people that are involved in uh, DUI and all these sort of cases is really skewed because he was meant to get a tattoo from this dude on the day that he got charged or got found guilty or what he got found guilty for. Or the day of the accident, who knows? But let's listen to Brendan's very redacted take on the situation. Again, a guy died. His tattoo artist shot to flee the scene of his best friend dying and this is brenda's defense of the situation absolutely wild i, I, I figured out my tattoo at least hmm? oh dude hey old fuck listen <laughs> to this what? hey old fuck i'm getting those feathers I'm yeah hey old fuck listen to this what i was today at 3 p.m i was gonna get a, a the, the rattlesnake logo the thick boy logo on my yeah. quad because yeah. when i'm riding you can see it so you know it's the thick boy right. so i'm so sick of all the people going thick boy on the trails so all i right, want dude, you I, know how it is it's crazy no, no, they're, they're, they're meeting me on the trails boy, they're, start your own company they're, they're hanging on the trails don't worry wonder why he doesn't talk about bikes anymore he's into pickup trucks brendan doesn't talk about thick boy cycling anymore really i don't i never heard him mention it about his eat bike going on trails and shit that e-bike doesn't exist anymore, right? It's gone. He's like a child when it comes to his little hobbies he picks up, right? Now he's like all into trucks and shit, playing baseball. Really funny. But hey, let's continue. Well, you're, not company, you're, company. you're not getting a percentage. You're company. You're not getting a percentage. I should so, get one. Terrible business <laughs> right, idea. Well. So, but I was going to get a snake on my quad, on my thigh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Today at 3 p.m. And then, oh, you're not though, because your tattoo artist is going to be indicted for murder. So... And I text him when we got done with the show. And, hey, man, wait, I, are, I'm what? assuming we're not on for 3 p.m. What? That's my tattoo artist, the dying piece on the left. We were just talking about him a couple weeks ago. What? Remember? Yeah, I got a tattoo. If you go to his Instagram, I'm the last fucking guy you got a tattoo with. Look at him smiling and he's happy <clears throat> about it. Go to his Instagram. Yeah. He's absolutely happy and glad about this whole thing. He's taking, he's actually enjoying the attention this tattoo artist is getting for murder <laughs> he's showing no compassion to the victim and he's actually more annoyed that his you know he's a uh, up and coming tattoo that he was meant to get at the time is now not going to happen because his guy is being indicted on murder charges absolutely crazy brendan's a fucking amazing guy but it should be manslaughter because uh, I was talking to Jay too. Between Jay goes, if he just gets a good lawyer, it's gonna be manslaughter. Probably still do some time. There I am. Jesus Christ. There I am. There you are. There I am. Wow. Now he has a uh, McLaren 570. Should have got the 720s. But regardless, he was drinking, drinking with a fellow YouTuber, and they ran into a tree. Fuck. I know. He broke his hip. He was drinking, so he was. No nothing about the victim, by the way. He broke his hip. His friend died. He hasn't said once in this whole entire fucking soliloquy, RIP to the victim. Very drunk when he got in the car. We don't know. You just can't. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you, can't, you shouldn't go to prison. Should, should you go to prison? Oh so you, my you, it's, it's God. Or it can be murder. You can go to jail for murder. Yes. But B, if we're, let's say, the, and I don't know how it works, but. <sighs> fucking bro. A kid died. Exactly. The text. Not like a kid. The kid died, bro. R.I.P. to fucking Corey LeBarry. 
right? I don't know. I, I never watched his videos. I don't know who he is, but let's just check, check him, double check. Uh, Corey La Bit. That's that La Barry, right? That's how his, that's his name. Corey La Barry at the time of passing has two hundred and seventy plus followers on fucking social media, Instagram. And let's go on images. That's what the kid looks like, right? He unfortunately passed away. Popular YouTuber, probably has millions of subscribers. Actually, I recognize his face a little bit, to be fair. Don't know he know him. R.I.P. to Corey. No fucking concern about the fucking victim or anything. Just, you know, little jokes and quibs here. And this is in the heat of the moment. Not many years after the fact, in the heat of the situation, he's more pissed off that he doesn't have the ability to get his tattoo as opposed to this poor guy that passed away because, you know, him and his friends are irresponsible and both got into the car fully loaded. Absolutely crazy. Brendan really is a uh, special kind of guy, isn't it? Very special kind of guy. It doesn't seem right to me. Say you and I both get drunk on Fire and the Kid. Yeah. I go, Brian, and you go, hey, dude, let's go. Let's go to the gym. You drive to the gym, and I drive, and I wreck, and you die. Just your heart, like when I'm going real fast, you die, crash, and you die because you're old. And then I survive, and I'm flourishing. Do I go to prison? <laughs> Hold on, I don't like the way you're setting this up. Dude. Do I go to prison for murder? Did they talk about they talk about being drunk, by the way? Did he mention that they were both drunk? It's not that they were just driving and they crashed a car. This is like you're both driving under the influence, which you are not meant to do because it's illegal. And it puts other drivers safety in jeopardy. And usually it always happens like this. I don't know why this is the case. Maybe there's a scientific reason behind it. But I really do hate that when people go behind the wheel drunk or high, usually when they're involved in a crash, it's the other cars, drivers or occupants who end up passing away. In this case, the guy who got behind the wheel and was drunk didn't die. It's the friend. He was drunk too, but it's the friend that passes away. I hate how unfair that is. It always uh, That's why I think it's really deplorable when people do that because you end up destroying other people's lives that had nothing to do with your night out. You get them involved in your fucking nonsense. It's fucking crazy. Anyway, let's continue. Murder? I feel like you're insulting me while do you're I go killing to prison me. For murder even though we both agreed Wait, that so we're say, both so, so, give me the, so we're both intoxicated you're both you drunk. go hey brennan can you drop me off on weho i got some work to do yeah. i go sure dude yeah and so we drive to weho and yeah. you're like all excited and you're yeah. like you got this raging boner why would i have a boner i know you're doing work i got in liquor dick i know you're weho okay so i'm jacking it you're jack you will kind of it's just you're like, like tell I me how much money you no, made in merch no, no, again you're, you're like i can't wait to get in there i'm like all right dude i'm just gonna drop you off please don't ejaculate okay, on my car. okay yeah. so we're driving but we're both drunk we've both agreed to jump in the vehicle yeah i cr i love the way he says both why does he have a B-O-W-L-T-H way of pronouncing both. 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 It's such a weird way to pronounce both. Both. He actually, he always adds L's and shit and letters that don't exist into words, right? When they're easy to just pronounce the way it is. Both. 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 both crash on our way to we jail for murder even though we're both under consent yeah, and it's not manslaughter it, it, it there are people doing life right now for getting into a car being drunk and killing somebody in another car or somebody no, no no different different uh, we didn't we didn't hit a bystander you we both agreed to get in this vehicle intoxicated so so you can now if he kidnapped him i understand that nope. if he was like you're getting the car at gunpoint nope, you, i crash you, you die can murder. you can absolutely be indicted for murder and convicted it's just like this if you um this guy's, how does he not understand this he thinks because two people agreed to get into a car drunk that somehow and even the agreeing part that could also be argued in court because you're both intoxicated how it's the if, if the victims went to sue daniel lee they could say he got on he got into the car under false pretenses maybe they could say there was no consent maybe they could say he lied whatever like what the fuck is wrong with brendan's brain bro if you do a crime with someone the crime and the person the person shirt, yeah. gets you the car the car the guy steals the car and then even if he's not in the car and you go off and kill somebody that gets him in trouble you can be indicted for murder too so you're all part of a murder conspiracy uh -huh. you're all part of the murder right so there have been people that you know get convicted how, how, for how many for, years is he gonna for do murder? for manslaughter 10 
Yeah, man, six to 11 years. Hold on. So his charges got brought down. He did only 365 days in jail. He got a sweet deal, didn't he? No? What, 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 what did he get charged with in the end? Sentenced. Silver Nisley was charged with murder. So probably the prosecution overcooked the charges. He was never going to get murder. So they gave him murder. He didn't get that. He pleaded no contest in July to felony count of gross vehicular manslaughter. So he got done with manslaughter and he got 365 four days in jail. That's pretty good, isn't it? 364 days in jail with 250 hours of community service and five years probation for a YouTuber or for an influencer isn't that bad considering the severity of the crime. But then another article here says the family are suing him, right? Yeah, tattoo artist sued by parents of the YouTuber. So the family of the, of the other kid, Corey, aren't happy. It says the attorneys for the 29-year-old former cast member of reality show Ink Master State in court papers that their client and no responsibility for the two Ink, Simon, Simon Libera and Luce Lissa Burton, the father and mother of Corey Liberi, brought a complaint on 2020 to the Supreme Court. Uh, police said Silver left the vehicle, da 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 so the parents are suing him. So clearly there's an issue there, but he probably should never got charged with murder. That would have probably helped. But still, this is a crazy thing. Again, no thoughts and feelings to the victim. No concern. Just, oh, my tattoo is now delayed. Probation wow. with up to one year or three or six or 11. So if he can get manslaughter, and, and dude, he got a pretty face. He could do 15 years. Yeah, pretty face, pretty mouth. He could do 15 years to, for this. He ain't doing 15 years. Guaranteed he doesn't do 15. I don't know, Both intoxicated. I bet you he gets, I bet you he gets a year. Oh, he's actually right on that. With a really good lawyer, I guess. It depends on what he said to the cops. It depends on how well, drunk well, he was. He's in, he's in the hospital with a broken hip. And they did it. Oh, no. Did, they did Someone a died. He's in the hospital with a broken hip. <laughs> but I'll call a test on him. Mm -hmm. the, the, the tragic of all this, the 25-year-old that died on his head. Finally, after how many minutes? Four minutes of sucking off the tattoo artist, he finally says it's a tragedy that the kid died. Fucking hell, bro. That's, that's a huge tragedy. It's horrible. 25-year-old kid. Now, now, and you know what they're doing? They're drinking like a couple of idiots. They did a very dumb thing. And sometimes it turns out, that's why a disaster. never ever drink and drive just you brendan is looking at him like i drink and drive every single day you can't do it and and everybody has <laughs> look at brendan's face <laughs> as a face of somebody that drinks <laughs> allegedly back in the day right allegedly who knows i don't know i'm talking out my ass but this guy looks like somebody that drinks when they drive maybe allegedly i don't know maybe someone that looks like that again i don't know what i'm talking about i'm just a small poor guy from a really horrible neighborhood somewhere in london talking about my ass i don't know what i'm talking about he's done it everybody has driven buzzed once in their life or 10 times in their life or 40 to 50. or 40 50. and you, you every time you do that you're taking someone else's life now Okay. Background I'll tell you what, it's a nightmare on many levels for him. Oh, I'm sure he's not a bad guy. He killed his friend. He's what? nice. He's, dude, for I'm sure he's not a bad guy. What a time to say that sort of thing. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. But what a bad timing to talk about him being a bad guy or not being a bad guy. I lo honestly, some of these guys, man, once you've got influence and stuff in media sometimes, they can really forgive anything, really, can't they? First of all, I think he's 23 or 20. He's a young yeah. kid that started a business 30. in uh, san francisco wanted more for his life so he came to la became one of the biggest tattoo artists of celebrity when he goes to jail he's going to be doing tattoos you know that he'll be doing everybody's tattoos jail has tattoos he'll be fine yeah he'll be fine but i mean not fine because he he killed his friend which is a disease which he has to live with for the rest of his life man i'm sorry about that all the way around oh you gotta love the lack of fucking empathy i wonder if that's a, a trait of narcissist to have like a lack of empathy for others and just look at themselves only because that was pretty wild little segment don't get me wrong there was some humor involved there to try and lighten it up a little bit but bro pretty wild thing to say but hey you know what what do i know um